Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's customer corner video, we are going to talk about how to enhance the user registration process by allowing users to upload a profile image. If the user decides not to upload a profile image, a generic one will be assigned for them. So let's take a look at how to do that. The first step that I took here was to create a database table and I labeled it images. In this table here, I am storing the generic picture that will be assigned to users that decide not to provide a profile picture. The next step was to create a user table. And then in this user table, I have all of the fields. And then the next step that I took was in the user table, I added this profile picture image metadata field. Um, and you can do that by adding fields, going into storage, and then selecting image metadata. Next up, we are navigating over to our auth signup endpoint here. And as you can see, here are the inputs that we are taking in from the front end. So we have our email, password, first name, last name, and profile picture. If we were to take a look at what this would look like in the front end, I created this in React. And here we are accepting those different fields. Now, once the user provides those fields, what we'll want to do is execute everything in the function stack. And the first step here is to make sure that the user that is trying to register does not already exist in our user table. So we are grabbing the record from our user table and we are checking to see if there is an user that already exists in there that has the email address of the user that is currently trying to register. If a user does exist in our user table, then we are going to get this error here saying that this account is already in use. The next step is to create a conditional statement. In this conditional statement, we are checking to see if the user did provide a profile image. So if the user did provide a profile image, then we are going to go ahead and create an image from that input, the profile picture. And what this is doing, this is creating the image metadata from the file resource so that it can be formatted to be properly stored in SANO. Otherwise, in the case that the user did not provide an image to be uploaded into their profile, what we are doing is we are getting the record from the images table. We're grabbing this record here and grabbing the metadata for this specific image. Once we have that, then I created a variable and then this variable is going to contain the image URL. And then what I'll do is I'm going to create a file resource using that specific URL. So this create file resource function here allows us to create a file resource in the function stack from a variable. So since we do have this URL up here, we have to take this step before we create the image metadata. So then once we create the image metadata, we are returning that as profile picture. And the next step is going to be to create a record in our user table. We're going to be providing all of the information and then the profile picture, whether that be the one that they provided or the generic one. Once the user has been added to our user table, then we will create that authentication token, which will be returned to the front end. So let's take a look at what this looks like in action. So once again, I created this mock-up here using React. So let's go through the use case of when a user provides an image that they decide to upload, and then a use case where they do not provide an image and the generic one gets assigned to their profile. So let's say that we have a user. I'll use my name here, Liz Anaya. I'll create an email address and then a password. 
And then let's say that I am going to go ahead and pick my profile picture here, choose my avatar, and then I'm going to go ahead and register. I went ahead and pressed the register button, which then sends a request to our auth sign up endpoint. And if we check our user table here, I can see that my user got created and now we have this profile picture living here. All right, now let's take a look to see what happens when a user does not provide a profile image. So now we register that user and if we go back to our user table and refresh this, we can see that this user that we just created was assigned that generic image. Before we wrap up this video, I just wanted to quickly mention that your public files library will always be accessible via URL. This means that anyone with that URL will always be able to access that file until it is deleted from your files library, regardless of whether or not that person has been authenticated or not. So just wanted to quickly mention that, which is important when storing anything that is personal, such as profile pictures. We also do support a separate private files library as a premium add-on or included with HIPAA compliance, which you can utilize to provide authenticated file access via your function stacks. You can find more information about this in the link below in the video description. All right, everybody, talk to you soon. I hope that this video is helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.